Mike Greenfield driving the 17. Greenfield in the 17. We are ready to go feature racing here. We got a bunch of cars in this one. And here we go. Craig Cascanet jumping out early in the number 19, and Amanda Defoe will take up the chase in the number 61. It is Trevor Holiday right behind her, and Francis White in the number 20. A lot of smoke coming off of that left rear. Coming around to complete lap number one. Cascanet down the middle of the track, trying to block Amanda Defoe on the high side. Gives a little bit of room for Trevor Holiday in the 61X. Holiday, the two 61 cars running strong here as Francis White goes to the high side of the track the caution will come out yellow 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 three with josh fern senior on the outside we're going to get a restart this time brad berry with the green flag here we go and craig cascanet picking up where he left off making that car a little bit wide as Amanda Defoe is looking for room on the outside, Trevor Holiday back there in the 61X, the 61 and the 19. Awfully close together out there, and now Amanda tucks it in down low as they go through the turns. Looks like a three-way battle for the top spot here. Tim Dunn looking for racing room back there in the 96T. Josh Vern Jr. in the 1B. And I believe Josh Fern Jr. is your first place Serve Pro Thunderstock car, the top three running right now, Sport Compacts. And they are putting on a three-way battle for the top spot, Craig Cascanet, right down the middle of the track. Cascanet has two drivers. He's got to hold off back there. One likes the inside, one likes the outside, and Craig Cascanet's got to make that car awfully wide. His left rear is hardly turning. We got a caution for A.J. St. Mary on the grass. Coming in. And they're ready to put on a show tonight. Cascanet to the inside, Holiday to the outside. Tim Dunn getting pushed along by the number 60 of Justin Pope. Takes a little while for Tim to get rolling in that 96T. He'll tell you that himself. And you can see Cascanet's left rear barely touching the ground going through three and four. And we got a spinner up here, and that is A.J. St. Mary one more time. A.J.'s got half the car up on the grass over there in turn four, so the caution is out. But it looks like A.J. St. Mary has gone to the pits. Restart coming up. Trevor Holiday piling it into that turn, trying to get some bite on that outside line. He's been running the inside most of this race. Now he's going to try the outside in the 61X to see if he can make it stick. And Trevor Holiday is holding his own on that outside groove. Craig Cascanet, your leader in the number 19, got Amanda Defoe right behind him. And now Tim Dunn is going to join the top four. We've got four sport compacts all battling for that top spot. And Amanda Defoe goes to the inside of Cascanet. And something she doesn't do very often, but she is looking at that inside line going through three and four. We'll see if she can hang on coming out of turn number four. And we got another yellow. Justin Pope on the back stretch has slowed. One more caution here in feature race number one. Take up the chase from the back of the field. If he's got that car fixed, keep an eye on him as the green comes out one more time. And Cascanet gets a poor start on the restart. Tim Dunn shoots through there, takes over third, and now Craig Cascanet's got the RPMs up, but he's got a long way to go. They're three wide over there in turn number two. Colby Goodell on the inside, and that car got awfully wide going through the turn. Cascanet had to back out of it, so Cascanet is mired back there in seventh at the moment. 
As he goes by, Colby Goodenow. Keep your eye on the 19. That's a strong car. We're halfway home. Ten more laps to go. Amanda Defoe is running at the front of the field. Trevor Holliday second. Tim Dunn third. Josh Fern Jr. is your first place serve pro Thunderstock car. Josh Fern Sr. is next, and then it's Craig Kaskin at third. Nine laps to go. Amanda Defoe, three-wheeling it through the turn. Trevor Holliday second, Tim Dunn third. We'll see how much speed Tim Dunn can pick up if the green stays out. Tony Frezzo now goes to pit lane over here up in turn one. Got two different packs of race cars out there. We got spots one, two, and three going into turn three now, and then it's farther back to Josh Fern, Jr. and Sr., followed by Craig Cascanet, Justin Pope in the number 60, Colby Goodale in the number nine. And now the cars start to string out just a little bit after running in a pack for most of the race as Amanda Defoe is right now not being challenged for the top spot. But Tim Dunn is knocking on the door for that second spot with Trevor Holliday. Dunn in the 96T. He will look high and look low as he starts to reel in the 61X of Holliday. Five laps to go. Five laps for Amanda Defoe out front in the number 61. Amanda leading the race out of turn four. Trevor Holiday second, but Tim Dunn. Tim Dunn is getting out of turn four very well. And right now he's trying to get some grip down in that low line. They are coming up on the lap car of Colby Goodale in the number nine. Goodale goes way high up on the track to give everybody room. As Amanda Defoe goes to the inside, here comes Holiday and Tim Dunn. And we get a caution one more time for Justin Pope up there in turn number three. And right now, he is ahead of Josh Fern Jr. As they come around the turn, just a few laps left in this one. Going through the turn, Tim Dunn to the outside of Amanda Defoe. We'll see what kind of race we're going to have here as the race winds down. Dunn's got a head of steam on the outside. Defoe on the inside. Side by side at the line. And Goodale and Josh Fern Jr. get together. It is still side by side for the front of the pack. Amanda Defoe with a little advantage going into the turn. We've got... Trevor Holiday right behind in the number 61X. We got a car in the grass. It's Justin Pope. Oh, crunches into the side of Josh Vern Jr. Not good news for the driver of the 1V as Pope and Vern get together right down here on the grass. We'll find out when the race is over who belongs in what class. Amanda Defoe just has a couple laps left in this one. Here comes Colby Goodale back out in the nine. So whatever that problem was, they've got it fixed as the 96T of Tim Dunn almost lost that spot to the 61X of Trevor Holiday. In fact, he doesn't have it back yet. As they come off the turn, the white flag is out. Amanda Defoe with the lead. Tim Dunn in the second spot. Trevor Holiday third. Craig Kaskinet fourth. They're all running in a row. Here comes Colby Goodale in the number nine. Amanda Defoe will take home the checkered flag for the Sport Compacts. Tim Dunn will finish second. Trevor Holiday third. Craig Kaskinet fourth. Colby Goodale fifth in the number nine. And we'll head to victory lane. Amanda Defoe, she's a happy one here tonight. Stepping into victory lane. I don't believe I've ever seen a driver's suit. Don't believe. Check one, two. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check one, two. Check. 
Well, I'll give this to you and let's okay. see what we can do here. Sound system, sound system, check one, two, check. Check one, two, check one, two, check, check, check. Testing, one, two, three. Can't even talk to her. There's nobody up there to turn that thing on and off. Check one, two. Well, what do you have to say about this? He's going up. He's going to go up and turn it off and on. All right, sounds good. Check one, two. Oh, here we go. Just had to wait a little bit. She was ready to come up to the booth to talk to me. Amanda, your first words, that was a great race. Why do you say that? I really had to work my butt off for it, and that's when it's so rewarding. <laughs> you look a little warm out there. How hot is it in that car? Uh, probably feels like about a thousand, if I had to guess. <laughs> you don't usually pass on the inside, but you did it that time. Was that the way the car was set up, or was that your only choice out there? That seemed to be the place to go. I didn't really like it. The car didn't really appreciate it. It's pretty hot because of that, but made it work. And we never know when you're going to be here, but this is two weeks in a row now. Are we going to see you again before the rest of this year's out? Unfortunately, it's probably going to be three or four weeks. Hey, when three or four weeks comes, we'll welcome you back. Congratulations, Amanda Defoe. She is your winner here tonight. Ran a great race. Josh Vern is here. I don't think you've ever won one like that before, have you? No, it's never happened. That's never how anybody wants to win, but a win's a win. Car looks like it was pretty banged up. How bad is it? Oh, the right front's pretty caved in. Uh, I don't know what was going on behind me. There's so many cautions in that race. We led the whole race. Everything was behind me, and um, two laps to go. Car's destroyed. Well, you're currently on top of the points. Are you going to be able to fix that car? You got to get a new one? What? Uh, you got a long week ahead of you as far as repairs go? <laughs> we'll be back. All right. He just says they'll be back. Josh Vern Jr., your Thunderstock winner here tonight, walking out the victory lane.